understand you're also a bit of a painter. Is that your sort of hobby away from footy? Yeah, so I've been painting since I was uh, about 15. Mum and Dad used to do it when I was, when I was younger, so I guess I just um, picked it up from, from, from watching and learning them do it. So, so yeah, I, I just picked it up because it, uh, there's, I had a lot on my plate um, as a youngster, just playing some footy, a lot of, bit of stress from, from footy, school, um, from Mum and Dad, so, so yeah, I turned to painting. Picked up a paintbrush and started dotting away, so yeah. Welcome to my house. Um, a lot of people ask where I do my artwork and this is pretty much where I, where I do all my artwork, is in the kitchen. There's no special studio or whatever it is. Um, um, that's the way I've been brought up, um, having no studio and whatnot. It's just more casual and doing a bit of time. Yeah, so this is, this is my favourite painting. Um, when I first got drafted, this one came on the plane with me. So yeah, this this one here, this is my favourite painting um, by far. Um, really, really connected to this this painting. That's why I bought it on the on the plane with me when I first got drafted. Um, um, it was the first time I used the the pinks and the purples, and and I really enjoyed doing this painting because it only took me a day to do it. So so yeah, it's really, the moon is in the middle. So this is um, this represents the this um, the night time, the dream time. Um, looking up in the sky at the moon. Um, so that night I was looking up and it was a full moon, so, so this represents the dreaming. So the dreaming, this is all the spirit, spiritual um, stories and, and energy coming from the dream time. And the hands represent, um, those are my hands, our people reaching up to the, um, to the dream time and bringing the stories back down to earth. So yeah, that's my, that painting will follow me forever and I'll most likely pass this one down to Ariana. Um, the technique that I used to, um, to do the blending of the paint, um, were, this was done obviously back in Perth when I was, um, I think I was 16 years old, but um, there was a lot of grass trees. We lived near the creek line, a lot of grass trees through there, so I got the scissors and I went to the, um, and chopped a few of them and thought it would be a good idea to um, slap the grass trees through the, um, in the bushes with the paint and, and then put it onto the painting and try and blend the colours with a grass tree, so yeah. This painting here, this is a, a different style again. Um, I don't I don't try and put barriers on, on what, what kind of paintings or what, what style of paintings I do. I just I just paint from within and whatever whatever I feel like doing. This story came about um, we go down for regular fishing trips um, back home in Perth. We go down to a place called Albany, that's where all my um, people on my mother's side's from from, from down south. Um, the Noongar people, so um, this fishing for the salmon is really this really big part of us. Um, um, my 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 pop has always done it, um, and he's passed it down to, on to us. So so yeah, this story represents that they come in big schools. So quite often you'll see big big dark black patches of, of the fish coming. Um, they come in their hundreds and thousands. Um, so yeah, so it's good some good stories from that from from the fishing for the salmon and. I wanted to do another dot painting, so I started off doing very one-sided dot paintings with the earthy colours. It's got the meeting place in the middle and then you got the small tribe in the middle and, and then the colours represent the land that they're on. This sort of painting is, is my bread and butter, where I, where, what I started off doing and I, and I always love doing one of these paintings because I find it's really spiritual and very um, really soothing for me to, to do these, um, especially when it gets stressful times, I find that um, getting in a bit of a trance where I'm just focusing on the next dot and I'm thinking about nothing else in life. Yeah, so all, all my paintings come back to my own experiences. So some of them might come from dreams or um, just a bit of a quick little flick of the switch and a painting might be in my head. I've had paintings where I've um, dreamed about my nana doing paintings so I've tried to wake up and do them paintings. Um, and then yeah, sometimes they're just, just through my own experiences and, and just telling my own stories through on the canvas. And just make, put on your lips like that and like, like not spit, so just the air. Yeah, so the, the idea came up with um, Cam Matthews said there was an um, empty space on the, on the wall as you come up into the club as you um, leave the elevator. Um, he's pretty much said it's got your name on it. Um, if you want to do something on there, you, you're more than welcome to. This was around December last year, and, and I think I had drew something up, a quick sketch, and that was the painting that I've recently done for the club. Um, and I just, yeah, I just said, oh, I want to do this. Um, how's this look? 
and I think it, um, yeah, just ran it by Cam and, and Jason Burt and they said yeah you're more than welcome to do whatever you want so and then they just gave me the license to do that so just I measured the wall up um, just so it's one of the bigger paintings I've done I think yeah it is the biggest I think it's around 150 by 200 and and yeah so so the idea about giving giving the painting to the club and having a part of me um, put up on the club is just sort of sort of leaving a, um, a legacy off the field that represents myself as as Jermaine Miller Lewis, not as the um, Jermaine Miller Lewis, uh, the the footballer. Um, I'm really I'm really big on um, um, how my how my impression impression of myself is how I'm perceived as as a person, and, and I've always worked on that since I've been a young kid. And 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 for me, it, it was it was a no-brainer to to jump at the at the opportunity opportunity to do a painting for the club and I was really happy to do do what I have done so so on the painting it's got the the eight the eight meeting places which represent the the eight states and territories within within Australia within Australia and then it's got the Plus one for the international, so so whether that's international supporters, international players, um, and the meeting places can rep they represent um, they represent the players, the staff, um, supporters as well, all to coming together as one, which is Hawthorne and Hawthorne, and it's quite a, ironic that um, Hawthorne is the family club, and 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 that's what's bringing everyone, and and for me this that this that story is. It's 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 well at home for me because I've had to travel from WA, so and 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 this is my new home now. And Hawthorne Football Club has brought me here, so. As well as being a really talented AFL footballer, he's also an incredibly um, talented artist. Um, and we began some discussions late last year about Jermaine doing a piece of artwork for the footy club that would signify and celebrate um, all 46 players um, on our list. Being a part of something bigger than bigger than yourself is is awesome, and and, and I was and I'm, I was very happy and and privilege to, to be given the opportunity from 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 the club to be able to put put this artwork put this artwork up for for us to be able to see um, hopefully it'll be up there for I don't know how, however long I probably won't be alive and it'll still be there and and at least I can um, I'll, I'll be able to, to be able to smile back on that and then come and visit it and whatnot when I'm when I'm older and, and I've got something for my little one to be proud of um, being a young man and and doing something is that that big is it's it's awesome and